What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another P.O. Box unboxing. Uh, and as always, as I always say, and I don't want to take too much time, but thank you so much for everything you've ever gifted, uh, everything you've ever sent over, not just for me, but also for my wife, for our family. So uh, seriously, thank you so much. Uh, my wife is not on camera. She's behind the camera right now. <laughs> she, she's here. I'm going to kind of... She wanted to she wanted to pop in really quick, so I'm gonna kinda of turn the microphone so it's at least a little more facing that way. Yeah, but he never tells me ahead of time when he's gonna record, so I'm never like ready. <laughs> like I'm not gonna go on camera in my pajamas. Excuse me. <laughs> anyway, but I wanted to say thank you to all of you. Like we get really sweet cards that say like to Justin and your wife and like sending us treats for both of us and gift cards and things like that. I think that's super sweet. It's kinda of weird because I'm like I feel like I know you guys, but I don't, but it kind of feels like we do. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, even Sake <laughs> got some treats the other day, and that was super cute and sweet. That was cool. She's funny. She doesn't like, she doesn't really eat other things, but we tricked her and put it in her food bowl, and she totally ate it. It worked. <laughs> so, but thank you all so much. So let's go ahead and jump into the first package. Let's start from the top, right, right here on the top. This is from Peter, a.k.a. Music Droog. So, Peter, thank you so much. Hope that you guys are having a lovely day. Hope you had a great uh, holiday weekend. If you celebrated the holiday this weekend, I hope that uh, you got everything you want, you know? Hope that your, your tree was filled with goodness. And hope that your day was either pleasantly snowy, warm and sunny. Over here, it was actually like perfect weather. That's Florida for you. It's perfect weather, it was kind of warm, but still just enough chill to like, wear a light sweater if you wanted to, you know? If you wanted to venture outside. So I have it open right here, let's go ahead and we'll put the, that there. We have a note on top from Peter. Peter, thank you so much for sending over this gift and the notes here. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. Now in the note, like I said, I don't usually read the notes on here, but he mentions um, seeing the video with Dave Grohl and Nandy Bushnell. Bushnell, is it? Bushnell. 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 I don't remember her exact last name, but she's really, really cool. And yes, I saw their drum battle. I saw when um, he brought her on stage and oh yeah, that's really cool. She's a great, great musician and not just a drummer, but she plays other instruments as well. I wish I had a loop machine. <laughs> I think that that's one of the coolest things for like an individual musician to have, like a loot machine. I've seen her work on that. So let me just uh, see what we have going on here. I haven't even like opened anything. Let me pull this. Ooh, Peter, you sent some truff. These are so good. Do you guys like these? I love these. Oh man, thank you so much, Peter. These will be gone in about two days. <laughs> like, not even joking. Something just fell back here. Hope I didn't. Hope it wasn't important. Uh, thank you so much for sending this over. <laughs> All right, and then down here, have a few albums. We have Leonard Cohen with The Future and Leonard Cohen, I'm Your Man. Now, Leonard Cohen, I'm not really familiar with him, to be honest. Of course, the song Hallelujah, which I know this is going to sound really bad, but I mean, it's a reaction channel, right? With stuff I'm unfamiliar with. I only first heard Hallelujah like maybe a few years ago. <laughs> And it was in a movie trailer. And I heard it and I was like, this is a great song. Who is this, you know? And of course, I recognized the, you know, Leonard Cohen and the name of the song. I was like, oh, this is Hallelujah? Oh, wow, this is a great track. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of all I know of him. And I think a long, long time ago, I, I think I may have either bought or downloaded an album from him. But I don't remember which one. I don't remember how far I got into it. If I'm being honest, I don't remember uh, about it or anything. Uh, also in the box here, we have a few DVDs, quite a few DVDs, actually. Some of which I recognize the names of, some of which I do not. Let's go ahead and go through the first tracks, or the first <laughs> DVDs. <laughs> first we have Koyani... Oh no. Koyani... So, Ko, Koyani... Scotsy. Scotsy? Life Out of Balance. Is this the one that has the soundtrack by Philip Glass? Is this the one? I'm not sure. 
I, I saw a movie like this being recommended in the comments every once in a while. I think this is the same movie that is um, that has like a very, very good soundtrack, I believe. The next is Pawakwatsi. Okay, so is it like a trilogy, maybe? Perhaps. And then Bruford and the Beat. You can't go wrong with a little Bill Bruford. What is this? Is this a documentary? This material is filmed in New York City. Uh, da, 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 da. Drum instructional videos? Solos, interviews, demonstrations, and rare performances of Bill with King Crimson, also including Fripp and Hal Steve Hal? That's really cool. That is awesome. And then you also have James Can with Thief. James Can. Now, why does that name sound familiar? <laughs> Why does the name James Can sound familiar? What else is he in? I'm not sure. He looks familiar. And then, of course, you can't go wrong with a little Patrick Swayze in Big Trouble in Little China. Never seen this one either. <laughs> but I have always seen this cover and, of course, Patrick Swayze. Um, ooh, Ghost was the first movie I ever saw with Patrick Swayze. I love that movie. Ghost with Whoopi Goldberg as well. That's a great one. You used to scare me when I was a kid. <laughs> And then uh, the second little stack here of DVDs, Amadeus. I have heard of this movie so much. I've seen the album cover, which looks to me like absolutely brilliant. I love the, the, the art style here, but I've never seen this movie. This is one that I have also had recommended quite a bit. True Stories, a completely cool multi-purpose movie. Never heard of this one. The most joyous and inventive rock mu movie musical since the Beatles scrambled through help. David Byrne trades in his oversized talking head suit for Western wear and a black Stetson to direct star in True Stories. A Byrne's eye view of Virgil, Texas. I mean, if it has David Byrne in it, it must be pretty good. <laughs> That's so cool. And then next one, Stanley Kubrick. Barry Lyndon. I've never heard of this movie, and I don't think I've ever really watched anything else from uh, Mr. Kubrick himself. And then the next movie here, Quadrophenia. Now, I would just, I'm just assuming that this has something to do with the album from The Who. I would just uh, imagine, maybe not. I don't see anything, <laughs> anything about it. I oh, know it has to, yeah. Amongst the blah, 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 this human drama adapted from and featuring the Who's seminal Quadrophenia. Mmm, okay, okay. And then down here, actually, <laughs> grabbed it, first one. There you go. It's Quadrophenia right there. So how perfect is that? Thank you so much for sending this over because even though Tommy is on our recommendation list behind me, uh, we do, ha I do have eventual plans to uh, go ahead and also listen to Quadrophenia. And then the last one here, is Brian De Palma, Phantom of the Paradise. I've always heard of this movie. Definitely never seen it. Isn't this like a horror version of Phantom of the Opera or something like that? Or maybe it's not. Paul Williams wrote the acclaimed rock and roll score for this musical horror classic and stars as an evil record tycoon haunted and taunted by a disfigured composer he once wronged. So maybe in a sense, kind of spinning off the idea of Phantom of the Opera. So, Peter, thank you so much for for the letter, for the gifts, for the movies and the CDs. That's incredibly, incredibly thoughtful of you to send this over. Seriously, I really appreciate that. This is from Fields. Fields is the name I've been given, and Fields is the name I shall speak. So, Fields, thank you so much for sending this over. I wanted to do so many other things before getting here, and I feel like I've wasted my time not doing any of those things. Don't you hate that? I really hate that. I hate when you wake up and you want to be productive and then, you know, three hours pass and you still haven't produced. <laughs> so let's see what we have since over here. Here we have Chick Corea and, or Chick Corea the Mad Hatter. Okay, I've never heard of this album. Uh, this is actually from David. Okay, David, I'm sorry. It said Fields on the front. So David, thank you for sending this over. Now, look how snazzy lo he looks here. What? <laughs> how snazzy is that? Chick Corea, the Mad Hatter. 
I've definitely never seen this album or heard of it. Just looking at the back at some of the personnel, if I can read off a little bit while we're looking at this beautiful cover. Uh, you got Steve Gadd. I literally just watched a video of Steve Gadd about an hour ago um, doing a sound check or something like that. Uh, you got Steve Gadd, Herbie Hancock. Okay. Duh. Now that I'm thinking about it, I have a short-term memory like a goldfish. My wife was just literally last night and this morning watching Alice in Wonderland. The, uh, the remake from uh, Johnny Depp was in it and by that one guy, Tim Burton. I think he directed it or whatever. Honestly, <laughs> I think that's one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. I saw it when it first came out. And I don't like that movie at all. <laughs> but I'm sure the music is a lot better. You know what I'm talking <laughs> So, David, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Our second to last package. No name on the front, so we'll give it a little cut here. All right, almost got this. I know I'm delaying. Oh, okay, got that. Okay, I barely got that. <laughs> so, let's see what we have here. Maybe there's a note that tells us who this will be from as well. We have, is that, no, that's not, I thought, <laughs> that is Gatso Barbieri, Ruby Ruby. How cool of a cat is that, huh? There it is. Okay. I was trying to find it. <laughs> I was trying to find my other Gatso Barbieri uh, album that was sent over. There you go. Okay. So we got, we got, we got to listen to some Gatto Barbieri. We got to listen to some of this cool cat. Yeah. <laughs> And this album, by the way, is, like I said, Ruby Ruby, uh, which was released, hold on, let me see if I can find the date here, um, 19, hold on, the plastic's like right on it, 1977 is when Ruby Ruby was released. So thank you so much, I'm already actually adding it into the collection here. <laughs> thank you so much for sending that over. I don't know who that was, I don't want to assume it might be from David again, I don't know though. So, if it was from you, or whoever it was from, please leave a comment for me. Now, the last package we have here. This one's very special, okay? So, we had done a song here on the channel a few, I guess, months ago now. We had done a song from an artist, and I absolutely loved the song. Actually, it was two songs I listened to. And I listened to the rest of that album on my own, because I, I loved it. I loved what I heard and I didn't really want to wait, okay? I don't know how, but soon after the actual artist sent me an email and we had a little back and forth and how, how out of nowhere and stunning to me is that? Like I was a little bit starstruck I, <laughs> to, to get an email with him thanking me for, you know, listening to the music and my words and everything. And I'm just like, wow, <laughs> like, like really, really? So this package um, is from him. This is from Mr. Gordon Giltrap. Can you believe that? It, like, can you believe that? I can't believe that. Um, that's beautiful. Thank you so much, um, Mr. Giltrap, for sending this over. If you're watching, I hope you are. Um, let me uh, see where I can open this. This is wrapped really good. Some of these packages are wrapped too good. <laughs> There we go. So in here, from what I can see initially, we have a CD. Gordon Giltrap, Paul Ward, The Last of England. Let me put that up there for you. Now I watched some videos of Gordon Giltrap playing his guitar, of course, and beautiful guitar playing. When you actually watch his technique and everything, it's, it's beautiful. The Last of England is an innovative new album that crosses several styles from prog to folk, rock to pop to classical in the unique style that Gordon has developed and honed his, over his career. And this seems, from what I can tell of the copyright date, to have been released in 2017. How cool is that though? Thank you so much for sending this over. And here's the back. I can't even remember if I showed the back already. <laughs> I'm still a little starstruck. So I didn't even know, I don't even know what I'm doing right now and then uh let me see i should have cut the other side of this too now that i'm thinking about it you know you're never supposed to cut down to your lace like as i'm just doing right now you know you're not supposed to do that <laughs> we also have a note here um from mr giltrap just thank you for sending this over 
This is awesome. <laughs> and it looks like here we have the vinyl of it. How absolutely stunning is that, guys? Isn't that so cool? I think this is this is the coolest thing like ever. So, Mr. Go Trap, thank you so much for sending these over. This was above and beyond for you to do this. There was um, no incentive for you to do this, just out of the kindness of your heart. And I, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that a lot. And here's the, um, here's the gatefold. Let me open this up for you guys as well. And just if you haven't, I mean, listen to Perilous Journey. That, <laughs> that's a great album. I love that. There you go. So, David, Gordon, Peter, everybody, thank you all so much for every gift that you've sent over, for everything you've done throughout this whole year. It's been a crazy year. It's been a great year for some, bad year for others, but thank you for blessing my year and my, my little space here, you know, <laughs> on YouTube, on the internet, but my little space here in my life. So thank you so much for everything that you guys have ever sent over. Hope that you're having a great day. It's a sunny day outside right now. A little bit of a sunny afternoon. I'd love to send a little bit of that to you guys. So have a wonderful one. Let's listen to some good music. Got some good stuff coming up. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you as always for being here, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.